Hello and welcome back to another round of ALR GT7 Tier 2. Uh, I'm your host, Ross Thorne. I'm also one of the drivers in this race. Um, this is round five at St. Croix um, racetrack in France. Um, let's go through the grid before we get started on this sprint race. So we've got uh, Zerbo in pole. He got pole last week as well and took his first ever ALR win. Uh, Jack in second uh, after a string of podiums. Uh, this is my best qualifier of the season. I'm in third place. So the two Nissans right next to each other. Uh, Funk in his McLaren is in P4 and Owen in the Mitsubishi uh, in fifth place, our championship leader. Payan, who's also challenging for the championship in his Jag, is in sixth. Then we got Ben in seventh. Diablo Devil making his debut in eighth. Uh, Tap Shooter in ninth and DDK 10th. Then we got Reno 11th, uh, Riaba 12th. These two are in the Ferraris. And Andy Winters is in 13th in the Aston Martin. So, yeah, let's get going because we've got a uh, sprint race to get through and a feature race. And it's lights out and it looks like a fairly even start. Looks like Funk might be challenging Jack. Um, really good start for Jerbo at the front as we approach turn one, which is a really tricky corner to get right. Looks like Jerbo goes really wide, which allows me to take the lead there. And Jack, it looks like we're about four wide as we go approach turn two. And this is a really tricky corner. The first of two left-handers. It looks like, uh, oh, a couple of cars have gone off there. Uh, that's allowed Payan to move all the way up to second. He was really far back on the grid. Um, I've maintained first place. Jerbo down from pole to third. And it looks like Jack is completely out of the top eight. So he's got a lot of work to do to salvage a result in this sprint race. Uh, Funk stays in fourth. And there's a bit of a queue behind him now. He's got Andy in fifth place as well there. Uh, starting from the very back of the grid. Looks like... Um, Diablo Devil in the Porsche was a little bit wide coming out of there. And he took the corner a bit better than Funk there and steals fourth place. Looks like Ben's going to go around as well. So the two Vantages overtaking the McLaren of Funk uh, going in as we approach the last couple of corners before the back straight on this track. Let's see how close Payan is to me at this point. Oh, Payan goes off the track just as we approach the back straight, which gives Jerbo a free position back. Uh, everyone's going to be overtaking him here. He's really slow to rejoin and he does another spin again on the grass and he's in last place. So let's rejoin the front. Uh, I've got about a second lead over Jerbo at the moment with Andy a bit further back. Funk and Ben battling into the fast chicane. One of the overtaking spots on the track. Uh, Reno doing pretty well. He's managed to work his way up to P6 on the opening lap as well, taking advantage of all the chaos as Diablo Devil uh, outbreaks him really and gets that spot quite comfortably off of Rito. Looks like they're going to keep battling into the bridge section of the track. Diablo's quite far away from this pack now. Um, nope, there he is, right in front of Reno. So we don't have the best camera angles here to see what the situation is going to be like. No one is decided to outbreak there at each other. Jack all the way down in ninth there, you can see. So he's going to really have to put recovery drive on as we approach a really long uh, right-hander, which completely wrecks your tires. Everyone's starting on the softs, obviously. Um, the last lap is going to be painful for everybody, but it is better than... Uh, Oh, it looks like Diablo, oh, is it Ben, had a terrible corner. And another car behind uh, went off the track as well. So that's promoted Diablo all the way up to P5 as he's battling with Ben down this uh, last little straight before the final corner of the track. Uh, it's blocking Reno off a little bit there as well in the approach to this corner as we finally finish our first lap after just over three minutes of the race. Um, Current order is Ross, then me, uh, that's me, uh, Turbo, then Andy Winters, Funk, and then this little battle that we've got here. Jack's trying to get a move on Reno as well. Looks like he's managed to sweep around the outside, but he's got on the grass. Is he going to manage to keep the position? Ben and Diablo in front battling as well as with three rides just behind them. Ooh, and it looks like Jack got the position from Reno. And he's got the inside for the following corner, which is what you need. And Owen as well, who must have had a terrible first lap uh, down in ninth there as well, the championship contender. And they're all kind of stuck behind Diablo, losing loads of time to the top four as well. Let's have a quick look and see what's happening. 
So the, yeah, it looks like uh, Turbo is catching up to me. He does have way more pace on this track uh, than I do. Uh, our pole sitter and uh, he should have had a double win last week as well in the Dodge Life, huh? but he did a spin in the sprint. But it doesn't look like he's close enough yet to challenge me before we head into the back straight. Looks like we're leaving Andy a little bit here as well. Andy had a great uh, opening lap to get to third. That's up 10 places from his starting position. So is Durbo going to be able to attempt to move? He doesn't look close enough just yet. And am I going to cover off the inside here? That's usually what I do. Yeah, and hit the apex nicely. And there's not much that uh, Turbo could do just there. Let's happen a little bit further back. Diablo, it's all over the place with, with this battle. Everyone's still battling each other. Looks like Jack's gotten past this little pack, though. <coughs> ben getting past Diablo as well. And now it's Rito and Owen uh, going side by side into the corner just before the bridge. Very much as you were. Jack has already managed to gap these cars behind so we can just put focus on putting in the laps to try to consolidate something from his uh, race today. Looked a little bit like Ben cut that corner. Well, not Ben, but Diablo is going to have to serve a two-second penalty, which is huge for that slight cut there. Reno is all out of shape in this corner here. Um, and Payan's got a penalty there as well. So lots of change will happen. But let's rejoin this battle in the lead because uh, Zerbo is really close and we're approaching a couple of overtaking spots as we finish our second lap. This is going to be my second lap in the lead. And also, this is the only time I've actually led a race in any of the uh, races this season, including the reverse grid ones, because I always tend to finish and start mid-pack. Um, but here we go. Zerbo is going to try something around the outside. I give him plenty of space, maybe a little bit too much space there and broke a little bit too much hard and turbo just sweeps around me and he gets into p1 and uh that will pulse us back in the lead but the top four incredibly close oh a bit of a slide by me there that's going to open the door for andy potentially maybe feeling a little bit of pressure after finally getting overtaken Going defensive as well. So this is all really good news for Turbo because I'm having to go defensive to try and keep my position. And he's having to go and try all sorts of different lines. We have a little bit of contact, nothing too major there. And Andy does get that position. And now Funk's next up. And now McLaren does have some good straight line speed as we're approaching the last couple of corners before the back straight. And he looks like he's going to compromise me on the final corner here. In terms of my entry, I'm going to have to take a tighter line. This is also good news for Andy as I, yeah, I go on the grass a little bit and then lose a bit of traction. And it's a little bit easy there um, for Funk. And now he's up into P3. Could have another look though. We're approaching this really fast K, which is a great little overtaking spot. Maybe the best overtaking spot on the track. Uh, plenty of opportunity to get some slipstream, even if you don't have the uh, pace advantage, but I just wasn't able to do anything there, and I cut the chicane, and that kind of ends my challenge for the podium positions, at least for now, unless I can, uh, no, and, and uh, yeah, I've got dirty tyres and I'm sliding around, so all, all in all, just bad news all around for me to hear. What's Jack doing? Jack's all on his own, Owen has managed to get through that pack as well, and Reno's still doing pretty well in seventh in that Ferrari. Pretty appalling car to drive in Group 3, so the fact that he's uh, battling out in the top 7 really shows what a good driver Rito is. Um, he's got Diablo on his debut in the Porsche, which is probably the best car chasing down, definitely the worst car in the tier, potentially one of the worst in the whole of our Group 3 set of cars that we've got in Gran Turismo. All very line astern at the moment. We've got Ben, Payan in this battle as well, and Tap. So the two Jags who are uh, in contention for the Constructors' Championship in 10th and 11th, with the two Nissans, myself and Jack, 
in um, fourth and fifth, so that's really going to benefit us uh, if it stays like this. And then Rehab is all the way back. So Rehab is a tier one driver, making his debut in tier two. Um, oh, is he? <laughs> he him and DDK both <laughs> really overestimate the, the amount of speed and traction that they've got through that. They both go really wide. Uh, ruining their own races there, really, but um, yeah, it looks like they're not going to get any points, but there's going to be an opportunity for them in the uh, future. Jebo, look at that, he's got, um, well, he doesn't have the fastest lap, that's actually Funk, but despite that, he is miles ahead of Funk, who is currently battling with Andy, let's see what happens here. Andy was in P2, he does have the inside line, but oh, they have a little bit of contact as well. And, oh, a great switch back there by Funk to uh, take P2, sweeps through. That's a fantastic little move there. Now I expect Funk to um, start driving away pretty quickly. And then I am just ahead of my teammate Jack. Jack is in the championship hunt, and I'm not in the uh, business of holding him back as Andy goes off right in front of me and causes all sorts of drama here. He manages to keep P3, so let's uh, rewind that a little bit because he actually got a 10 second penalty for this. So he's just behind Funk. And then here you'll notice, so his uh, controller actually ran out of juice here. And he's just trying to, yeah, he's just plugged it in, tried to get it all sorted and then I just go right into the back of him because he's right in the middle of the corner exit so Jack gets past me that way and uh, I've got front damage and that's going to allow Owen to really close the gap towards me uh, but Jack will be all over the back of Andy here trying to get past after he regains his composure he does have front and rear damage but he is still putting up a really aggressive fight here to hang on to his podium position um, Jack nearly goes onto the uh, grass there, but he manages to avoid it. I'm still shortly, like, just a little bit behind, but I had a huge, excuse me, a huge advantage over Owen until all this happened um, and lost all my momentum coming out of that corner and suffered with damage for the next few corners as well. Look at Jack's tyres there. He's got already, we're only halfway through lap four, and he's nearly completely burnt through all of his tyres, uh, which is pretty bad news for him. Uh, might mean that he'll struggle to make any more progress in this race. Andy's tyres are even worse though. My tyres are pretty similar to Jack's, maybe a little bit better. And Owen's tyres are amazing. Really looking after those tyres in the Lancer Evo as he's slowly picking his way back through the pack. What's happening here with Reno and Diablo? Really close battling going on here. Reno having to defend quite a lot. He's taking the inside line as a defense. And is he going to be able to hold it with traction? He is not. It looks like... Oh! Oh, he's all... Ooh. Looks like he lost traction on exit there and he's dropped all the way out of the top 10 as a result. What a shame. He definitely had a pretty decent points haul of the cards there. So let's rejoin the battle near the front. So as you can see, I've got a penalty there which is going to gift Owen a, a spot. So things going from bad to worse. I was less than two laps ago leading the race, now I'm down in P6, which is unfortunate. Had a nightmare lap this time around, and the time before I was at 3 minute 10. So two absolutely horrendous laps um, as we enter our final one. So Owen will be trying to chase down Andy in this final lap with far better tyres, it's probably only a matter of time. Looks like Jack's managed to drive away pretty swiftly as well here, now that he got past Andy. It looks like Turbo, yeah, we can see on the minimap, he's far and away ahead of everybody else. Ooh, Owen gets a little squirrely out of the first of left-handers as we approach the second one. Much better exit that time, especially compared to Andy, and it's going to allow him to close in as we enter this infield sequence of right-handed corners, right, well, 90 degree angled corners, I should say. And this is going to probably be where Owen 
challenges and make, tries to make a late lunge. You see Jack just going past in front. No, he tucks in behind Andy for now. But he's got so much more grip as we go through this really long left sweeping uh, corner. And he gets the move done even before this last uh, couple of sequences for the back straight. Funk, yeah, Funk's all on his own in P2 here. Really strong result from Funk here. Um, he can t switch it on uh, every now and then. He's got a race win this season, but he's also got a few um, finishes right at the back of the pack as well. But today is definitely one of those days where he's absolutely got everything hooked up. That McLaren is really good uh, in tracks like this, I think. Especially with the uh, recent update that we had, it made it a little bit stronger. But Zerbo, as we approach the final few corners, with his Under Armour BMW livery, we're going to follow him around because it looks like he's going to get his second win in a row. He's got, um, doesn't have fastest lap. So that's probably going to go to Funk because the tyres are pretty dead now. But after losing the lead in the first corner, falling all the way... Well, he was about third after the first sector was done and dusted. <coughs> Managed to pick his way back through. Uh, overtook me legitimately and overtook someone else because of a penalty. And after that, it's just been plain sailing. So, win number two of the season for Turbo as he crosses the line doesn't get a fast lap. Funk in second, another podium for him. Great result. Jack working his way back through the pack to get P3. He's just holding off Owen in fourth. Uh, Andy in fifth, but he'll lose that fifth place to be in sixth place. And then we've got a huge gap all the way back to Tap um, in seventh. Uh, Diablo managed eighth in the end. Payan ninth, so a little bit of a recovery for the Jags. Ben in the Vantage will finish in tenth. And then we've got uh, DDK down in 11th after a bit of a messy um, messy race. He couldn't replicate what, what Funk did in the same car. And then we got the two Ferraris, unfortunately, towards the back, which means that they'll be on pole for the feature at least. So Reno in 12th and Riaba. Sliding, oh, power slide. Lovely little slide around the corner. And that'll be P13. So that's it for um, the sprint race. Uh, catch me. I will shortly be uploading the feature race for the same track. So uh, join me there. Cheers.